Painting is an illusion. It's the imitation of reality. An artist mimics and captures the three-dimensional reality of the world on a two-dimensional canvas. In a sense, they're freezing time and capturing a moment. And with the use of technique and craft, they're able to craft something that sometimes is better than reality. This has been something I've been thinking about a lot because people will often say to me that my paintings look real or that they have a lot of detail. But I think that in reality, when you start to look closer at them, they don't have a lot of detail. And it's quite evident that you can see individual brush strokes. But I think about it a lot. I think about how painting is nothing but an illusion. And part of your job as an artist is to render reality onto this two-dimensional surface. And we're using techniques and craft to, to do it. And it's like the better you are at your craft, the better you are with techniques, the more resources you have to create this illusion. At the beginning when you're starting out, at least I know this was true for me, you have an idea of something that you want to create in your head and when it's you put that brush to canvas or pen to paper, it does not come out like you want it to. And a big part of that is because you do not have the experience, the knowledge, the techniques to be able to transcribe something. But slowly, through time, through technique, through repetitions, you build your skills, you learn more techniques, you educate yourself, you watch YouTube videos, and you slowly start to get better and better, and you become a better illusionist. When I'm painting and I'm looking at my reference, and I'm trying to build up the layers of paint, I'm really reminding myself of that, that I'm not trying to actually paint reality, I'm trying to create an impression of the thing, and I'm trying to create an illusion of the thing. And if I get enough of those pieces in place, this will look like I've done something special. This will look like a successful painting. Because as I get further and further into this and I'm gaining skills and getting my reps in, I'm realizing that there's a lot of things that I'm changing. There's a lot of things that I'm changing about my reference image, about the reality of how it looked during the day, so that I can craft a narrative for this painting. I can craft a narrative for what I want the viewer to take away from it. I can use brushwork, I can use contrast, I can use a variety of colors, I can use the chromatic intensity of colors. And how I use these things is to draw your eye to certain places. But in the end, what I'm really doing is just crafting that illusion. And everything that I do on that work needs to be supporting that end result of the illusion that end result of somebody walking in and saying, wow, this looks real. And then when they take a closer look, the illusion vanishes. And you see that it's just brush marks. There's like a point in time when I'm working on these paintings that I'm building it up and I'm doing the background. And it looks kind of bland, lifeless. It still looks like a bunch of marks on that canvas. But slowly, as you're building up these layers, as you're adding in more contrast, as you're adding in more chromatic intensity, things start to move, things start to pop. And slowly, all these colors start to harmonize together. The variation of the hard and soft edges of the brushwork draw your eye to certain places. And there'll be certain points in time when I'm working on this where, where I'll take a break and I'll walk back into my studio and I'll think, wow, there she is. The illusion is coming together. Being a creative is always a little bit of a roller coaster ride and you go through ebbs and flows of... Uh, believing in yourself all the way down to how could I even start doing this but as the layers of the painting start to come together there'll be bits and pieces where you can start to feel the illusion coming together yeah I don't know the illusion of thinking is something I've been thinking about lately as I've been doing stuff and it's like been a bit of a mantra of mine that I'm trying to remind myself of is that I'm not painting reality but I'm trying to represent that on a two-dimensional plane and I think that thinking about it in that way and understanding that you are playing the game and saying yes to that instead of being frustrated that you can't craft reality on the canvas I think that's a big part of where the artistry in painting lies and I think that it's a big part of the intangible thing that I'm seeking with my work is to have that beautiful harmony of illusion mastery and technique all together and I think I'm grasping at it right now. I think I'm getting there. With my last couple of paintings especially, they just felt like I've been making some better choices on them. And I think that putting in a lot of reps is helping me. It's helping me to become better and better 
and I think I really like where things are going. Thinking of painting as an illusion uh, has been something that has been immensely helpful to me as of late, and I hope that it can be a helpful thought for other people.